And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Elites. We're going to go ahead and try a new Jarvan, also Garen for our other champion, and playing all Demacia and playing Elites. The uh, reason why we want to play an Elite deck is for this two drop Battlesmith. Whenever we summon an Elite, grant it plus one, plus one. The new expansion that just came out does have some new cards for Elites. We have like Penitent Squire, which isn't technically an Elite but it does create a tattered banner in hand if you behold an elite, and that can be really valuable, granting something challenger. We also have Honored Lord. The first time it challenges an enemy, give it barrier. For the most part, this is probably just going to be a 3-2, um, but if we are able to use the tattered banner or our grand plaza, we can give it barrier, and that's really what we're going to be using for uh, challenger here. I still think the grand plaza is really, really strong, so we're going to be having the grand plaza in here. We have a Gallant Rider that if it can challenge something, it turns into the Vanguard Cavalry. Uh, just, you know, get, basically it's plus one, plus one and tough. So that's pretty nice. And let's see, we got Jarvan, of course, uh, being our other champion besides Garen. Jarvan also an elite. And uh, whenever it attacks, whenever we attack, we get to pay our six mana, put Jarvan to play immediately challenging and uh, with barrier. And so hopefully we can have our allies survive four plus strikes from enemy blockers. If we like, we're really going to kind of need the Grand Plaza for that. Uh, but then if we could get the Grand Plaza, we can have a lot of, of uh, challengers. Maybe we can get that. Maybe we can level up a Jarvan. I don't know. We're just going to kind of see how this works. So we're going to have our elites, the three drop slot. We have like three different, like pretty decent elite three drops, the Sergeant, the Redeemer, and the Greenfane Warden. The Warden just works great with Grand Plaza being a 3-2 barrier with Scout, and then, you know, if it gets the Challenger with that. Um, you know, also, it's a good card with the Battlesmith. If it, You know, Battlesmith can make this larger. That can also be helpful. But let's get to it. Let's give this a try. We'll have to see how we do with some good old Demacia Elites. Let's try out all these new Elites. Oh. All in Fiora. This is can be difficult, right? Because we're playing like these smaller things. Um, so normally, like this is like a hand we'd want to keep, which maybe I just do. I hope they don't have. Like basically, like this kind of matchup, you really want to have spells, but I I don't have spells. I hope they don't have Fiora on turn three. Have y'all ever played against this deck and they don't have Fiora on turn three? Like, is it possible? To not have fewer on turn three. All right, so we would we would normally want to play Battlesmith. If I didn't we'll do it. It. You won't want it. It's not a good card against Fiora. Hopefully, no Fiora. How oh, they're sitting there waiting—that means they have entreat. That's too bad. So my thinking here is I have five mana. I can maybe do all of these things over here with the five mana. For the prince. Years take experience gives. I mustn't stop. Heal, dog. You won't leave a scratch. Yeah, this this deck is just so good when you have you know if you have Fiora on turn three, if you're able to draw it, and if your opponent's only playing units, I'm just playing units, right? Like I. Yeah, this is just not a matchup for me. I really hope they cast. Never mind. I was gonna say I hope they cast single combat, but actually I don't hope they cast single combat because they get the other power with sing with Fiora. Looks like that's what they're thinking about. For the honor 
You just you don't beat Fiora by just playing units, and that's what we're doing. I'm doing this because of Elixir of Iron. I'm not I don't want to do like a 4-3. I want to do a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. We're able to kill Fiora. Maybe they don't have a second. Possibly they don't have a second, right? Soldiers, to me. No. Always two steps ahead. It does reset. Like they have to kill even though this thing's a four four, it does reset, they have to kill four things again. Jarman's interesting. Well, gotta try this. I should be striking the other way. It should be the three and the four. Well, that didn't work. Strike quickly, strike they got less up. cards, though. If I'm, a t if I'm going to attack Jarvan, I'm not doing anything else. Which that's probably fine. I think that two out of four now. Show them our metal. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. Because, yeah, this does force them to use a spell like that, but then it also does not give them a kill. That's good. Well, I really hope they don't have a fight spell. Right, like they need they need a fight spell to win. Hope they don't have one. And it looks like they have one. Darn. But we came close. But they ended up having they did have all three Fioras in their hand. Right, well Yeah, one of them was because of Entreat, but they had the other I guess they had two entreats. They had, a, you know, they had a, naturally had a Fiora and two entreats. All right, Aphelios with Talia. I'll keep this. Grand Plaza, that's what's up. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Hmm. I'll just pass. So 2 2 doesn't really, you know, it doesn't get through this 2 1 or anything. Don't really need to play it right now. No more hiding. We can be patient.
and didn't play the Battlesmith on two. I was worried about, you know, I want to have Sharp Sight to be able to protect Battlesmith. I was worried about them going like a Felios plus the deal three damage and just killing my Battlesmith like that. Alright, it's just not worth it to do the to do that other challenge. There's a lot of different tricks they could have, you know, like the the one mana plus three plus one, which that's something that would be really troublesome with challenging with sharp sight. And then I ended up uh, challenging the one two because of Pell Cascade instead of the two one. Yeah, I should probably just never attack with the Battlesmith. I agree. That's why I kind of stopped there. They definitely wanted to play the other Moon Weapon and then have the Aphelios in play and get a Moon Weapon. I'm guessing it's the three damage. They wanted three damage to the Battlesmith. The follower. Oh, because the follower gets two more mana. Lunari, rise. Whoa! Hey! Vanguard Bear Man is what's up. I ran as fast as I could. Don't really need to play Jarvan yet. Dustbringers have been pretty good for them, just, you know, getting in the way, slowing me down, Let's put these rocks in the giving them time to play Talia. Man, they have really drawn their champions. The if you can live in Runeterra, what region would you choose? Probably Demacia. Unless they're like always in battle and stuff. I don't want to like always be in battle. I just want to live in like the peaceful region. Which one's that? Is that Ionia? Ionia most peaceful? Yeah. Ionia's being invaded by Noxus. See, I don't want, yeah, I don't want to be invaded by Noxus. That's not cool. Maybe Shirima, just like hang out on the sands. Maybe nobody wants to go over there because it's a desert. So you can just like chill in like a cool desert city. Dang. That moonlight affliction though. Well, at least we healed. At least we healed one.
We're not in a good spot. Not in a good spot. We got both their champions alive. Okay. Okay. So I was planning on like just going to attack Jarvan. Right? And then Jarvan challenges the Talia. But then I'm not really challenging the Aphelios. And Aphelios is going to be wrecking me. So I could just go Sergeant Gallant Rider. And then I, I get two challengers by going this way. And try to, you know, try to take him down with that. I think I'll probably have to do that. You have to try to look, try to get two challengers. This doesn't give me any extra. Okay, so what is this? So, round start creating create a cataclysm. Okay, that's that's what I need is that cataclysm round start. I need to just kill this thing. <sighs> yeah, I gotta kill this. But they just grabbed the overwhelm. To our standard. Can't let them keep getting more moon weapons. I have to. I have to hope they just don't have two more landmarks. Or like they, because they only have four cards. We know one of them's a, a moon weapon. They got to just hope that they don't have. Two more landmarks right now. And we also know, yeah, because they also, I guess one of these is the Solari Priestess card. No, that's a landmark. Because, yeah, we know one one's the card they got from Solari Priestess. One is a moon weapon. So I only had two cards I didn't know about. Preservarium being one of those two. Pretty rough. The obliterate was from their first Solari Priestess, not that not that Solari Priestess, not the second one. Gross. They still have another Solari Priestess card. That's just game over, right? If they have, if their moon weapon was the overwhelm moon weapon, it's really unfortunate they they had a landmark in hand and immediately drew another landmark for turn. So they did get the two. Hopefully, it's not the overwhelm moon weapon. Life steal, cool. All right, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Oh, I can't deal with that. Where did this card come from? Oh, from the fangs that just created it? Yeah. Because I, I can play Jarvan, but then the fangs challenges the Jarvan, and then the, the Talia kills me. No, not Fiora again. Yuck. How do we keep facing the Fiora decks? I guess so. I'll write my own story. Um, charge? I have been sent by the king himself. I guess I've lost this game. According to them. 
I guess they have a really good hand of just... Because all you need... Uh, if they just have Fiora plus Shen plus all spells, we can't beat that. Right? Like, that... We can't beat... Yeah, like... These these kind of decks don't beat that. Like, that's... Fiora, Fiora Shen is just the... It's the mid-range killer. And so it looks like that's what they got. Not the best Bannerman. Takes away an easy kill for Fiora. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. For my father, the king, ours is but to do and die. Wish I could have her post. Well, the good news is that's two repose out of their hand. No that's good news. Two repose gone. And we have our, our one of repose. We've gotten pretty lucky drawing that one of repose ourselves. And no, I'm not. I'm not really planning on playing these two twos in, against Fiora at all. Good. They could have had another repost. Yeah, they've already used two Riposte, but, you know, it's also Fiora's Champion. You know, so they have, like, five other Riposte in their deck. Right, with, with it being Fiora's Champion spell. So they, they would still have three Riposte, so it's still not that. That's, that's, that's if they're playing three Riposte. So the easier thing to do is just to challenge the Caretaker. Um, this forces them to use a spell right now. Which... I think I'm okay with that. Let's level up the Fiora. Yeah, see, they, they had another repose, so they could have used that repose and killed my. They could have just done that on the Fiora, killed my um, Garen right there. And that's why their deck is great in these mid-range mirrors, because Bright Steel Protector just wins the game. Or Bright Steel Formation, sorry. Bright Steel Formation wins the game. Just 
I don't really know why the formation didn't attack also. It would have been lethal if they would have just attacked with the formation. Because they would have gotten all the barriers again. So one mana short from playing all four of these. So I guess I'm not playing the Grand Plaza. One mana short, or one power short. Man, if I, if only we could play this Grand Plaza also, because yeah, because this should attack. <sighs> Challenge be eight power, yeah. So it's one one damage short from killing that Bright Steel formation. Maybe they play, play someone first. Okay. So I single combat and kill Shen. I still lose. I kill Cythria. I still lose. Okay, I lose. Hey, Fiora. GG's. Bright Seal Formation is too good. I I could definitely see our deck playing a Bright Seal Formation. I mean, if, if you're going to be playing against other Demacia decks, you need that card. That card wins every Demacia matchup. Lissandra Trundle. How do we play a late game against Lissandra Trundle? It's probably not these cards. We'll keep the two twos. Yeah, we've been... <laughs> We have had some tough matchups. We're, we just kind of noticed that like our deck's just not good against Fiora, right? Like, Fiora is... And that's why... This is kind of why, as we see these games, why I don't like Elites. And it's just it's just much worse than playing, you know, Fiora Shen, basically. Uh, you know, just playing... Like, even in this this deck, just playing Fiora over Garen or Jarvan would be an upgrade. But, you know, I wanted to play the Elites. But... Uh, Fiora is just... You kind of have to play that card if you're playing Demacia. It's that... It's... It's, you know, that kind of card. It's like... <clears throat> you know, Felios and Targon and... Twisted Fate and... Bil it's like playing Bilgewater without Twisted Fate. It's like you kind of have to... Kind of have to do it. This Sentry really, really throws a... Throws a damper on my... On my plan. Yeah, we're probably... Yeah, I, I liked Jarvan. Sc Scouts felt like a lot better home for Jarvan, being able to get the multiple attacks and everything. Um, yeah, Scouts felt pretty good with Jarvan. Don't really know exactly what this game's going to look like with us winning. You know, us winning this game, I don't know exactly how that's going to look like against... Ruination, Vengeance, that kind of stuff. So if I play Garen, I feel like that's a perfect, a perfect vengeance spot for them. I go this way, they kill my honored lord, or you know something dies, I have their, I get to redeemer also. Yeah, we're 
they're just gonna ramp. I hate that we have to put Jarvan into play. Like, what if I don't want to put Jarvan into play? What am I going like Garen single combat, but then but then I attack and then we have to put Jarvan into play and then we just get completely destroyed by ruination. Alright, so we're going to have 5, 11, 14, 17, no, 19. I'm only going to be attacking for 19 next turn. Only 19. If I go if I go Garen, single combat, kill Trundle, and then attack, put Jarvan into play, I think it's only 19. Because, you know, we get this plus 1, plus 0 goes away. So this will be 6, so I'll be 11, 14, 17, 19. Dang. So they can stay alive in Ruination. I guess we'll just do it and just hope they don't have ruination. I mean, I don't, I don't think it really gets better for me, right? Like, it's not like we're going to be, we're not going to be good against ruination ever, anyway. So we might as well just do it. Might as well just attack for nineteen. No ruination? Well, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Unless they want to just kill their ice pillar. Sure. I mean, they have to they have to play Lissandra first before you know they have to play Lissandra to get Watcher. So how do they stay alive? They can block something anyway. Let's just kill that. So they Jarvan they block Jarvan, they kill this, then they go like Glimpse Beyond or like sorry, like Grass the Undying they go like Grass the Undying. Then it, I still get to refill after that, then it goes to my attack. Yeah. Three out of four for Watcher. I don't think they're playing I don't think they're basically what I'm what I'm trying to say is I don't think they they are staying alive and playing the Watcher this turn. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think they're doing both. That keeps them alive because of the tough nexus. Uh, cause th that just, that kills the pillar, so like, for like, the next upcoming attack, they don't have that pillar to block anymore. Um, if I pull it with the 2-2, two -two, they, I don't know, they'd trade their, like, they, I guess they would, they would just trade, like, they would have their, the 6-6s six would trade. Maybe Lissandra trades with Jarvan. Oh, I, I should have led with Battlesmith first. I was just focused on drawing a card and seeing what we got, but maybe I should have gone with Battlesmith first. Probably should have. It's dangerous up there. Take this. Soldiers to me. Embrace the calm. Out. 
I could definitely hear the argument that I need to be playing the Tatter Banners and go Tatter Banner, you know, and, and then I can challenge these things and not let them kill the Garen so easily with this. I probably should have. I, I need to just think that through a little bit more. I think I, I needed to play Tatter Banners and I needed to play Battlesmith before this Redeemer. This Redeemer should be four power. Third Grand Plaza was a pretty good draw. We needed that one. Okay. I guess this game's over. Next turn they just play Ledros, then play Watcher, then attack with Watcher. So that means I have to kill them this turn. I don't really see how I do. A Jarvan, like if if we draw Jarvan, it can be another attacker. At first speed. That doesn't do it. Jarvan doesn't do it. Or, you know, like that one. I don't know. Defeated, but never Not doing too good. Callista. Alright, maybe we can get a win here. I, I mean I don't think I don't think it's the region. I, I just think it's it's elites and Jarvan. Like they're just not good enough. I don't think it's the re like you know, if I could just play like regular like support and challengers and stuff like that in Demacia, I would, you know, I I think that that kind of stuff's really strong, but elites and Jarvan and like just just basically like these elites, they're just they're not they don't interact like we just don't have we don't have interaction or card advantage. And that's you know, you can't win without those. All right, we'll get rid of these two. We've also done a pretty bad job of drawing lots. You know, like Grand Plaza is an amazing card, but you really just want the one. We have unfortunately drawn lots and lots of Grand Plazas in these games. The last, you know, last game we drew all three. The game before that we drew two. This one we're drawing two already. So Talamar, you said the only interaction the elites have is Battlesmith and Penitent. Battlesmith is not interaction. Interaction means you affect your opponent's board. Or like their cards. That's what interaction means. So this Gallant Rider is going to be really nice with the Plaza challenging here. So like, what else are they doing? Like this has to be like, what, a They Who Endure deck or something? Um, I'm not playing in another region, you know, like we're playing Bannerman and everything, but that's, that's, that's probably like where we're going wrong. We probably need to be playing another region and, and I don't know, like, there's obviously lots and lots of options, but we probably need to be playing another region for support cards in this kind of deck. I, I don't know which region would be the best. There are lots of options. Okay, so they do get to draw the two, but we don't take any damage. So that's nice. Our, our unit's going to stay six health and tough. The 
And we'll play Garen this turn. Next turn, Honored Lord Bannerman. And I like our chances. If they're just going to play a bunch of Mist Wraiths, we can kind of handle that. If they're just going to have like all sorts of followers and Mist Wraiths. We, we can handle Mist Wraiths. Sorry, Battlesmith. Alright, so we got a strike for Garen. Only taking five. This is looking pretty good for us. They got a lot of cards in hand, but if their cards are just more followers, it looks great. If they have, if they end up having Ruination, that's where we lose, right? Like, that's how we lose this game if they play Ruination. If they don't play Ruination, we don't lose this game. Likely. Um, I'm not even that scared of Harrowing. No, it just makes sense to do that this way. Because of, um, like, Glimpse Beyond effects, right? Like, they, they block one of these, Glimpse Beyond. Then that Bark Beast is a I will be able to open attack and put in Jarvin. Good signs for me for them not playing Ruination. King Jarvin. Giving everything Challenger and Scout is pretty... I guess we no, we just draw a Jarvan. Alright, so the Callista level's up. I can't stop the Callista from leveling up. You just want me to pass in judgment? Fight for your kings. The King Jarvan's a really good draw, though, so even if they do have Ruination, the one card I'm scared of. We'll have the King Jarvan be able to refill our hand with another Jarvan. Um, of course, we are going to be able to attack. Yeah, like we're going to keep getting the this attack token. So this is good. We just play against a mid-range deck, playing a bunch of small units going wide. We can handle that kind of deck. Our hand was also pretty good. I was thinking attack before ruination, but that that probably should just be doing more stuff. All right, no ruination. So this so this is gonna be our combo here. So we're gonna go Jarvin. Give everything at Challenger and Scout. And now since they have Scout, now we can Cataclysm. And with Cataclysm, we get the free attack. Uh, I don't know, you can you can attack. 
And so then with it being a scout with a free attack, that means we get an additional attack. So this is a really cool little combo here. So we got sneaky two more attacks. See, this is our first time this turn that we've, this round that we've attacked with only scouts. So therefore we ready our attack. And there we go. So that's a cool way to end our Jarvan Elites. That was pretty sweet. All right, so our Elites didn't end up doing too well, unfortunately. Um, you know, the big removal heavy decks, like the Shadow Isles deck is tough, but really like Fiora, right? Like we struggled with other mid-range decks with uh, Fiora and Brightsteel Formation. Those cards are definitely difficult for us to beat. Um, it feels like it feels like going with the elite still just isn't there. You have a little bit of payoff with Battlesmith, but that payoff isn't as good as like other things that Demacia can do. And you know, playing and pairing Demacia with another region um, definitely feels like like that's just a better way to be playing Demacia. Is having is having more interaction, more card advantage that kind of stuff. We could definitely play another region. You know, this is a, a Bannerman deck, but um, we could still, even with the elites, like if, if you really want to play elites, the best elite deck is going to be two regions. It's not going to be one region like this, um, you know, especially from, from playing these games. Now, which region you pair with it, I don't know. There's so many options everywhere. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one. Like each one of these regions, you can, you know, name like two cards that would be really nice to have access to in this kind of deck so you know kind of personal preference what you know what do you want um but it did seem like we needed more hmm, just kind of that right like we need more interaction and more card advantage that's that's really about it um pl plaza was good for us but the problem the problem was us drawing two or three plazas every single game you really just want the one you don't need a second or a third um but the first one's really good, and Grand Plaza was really good for us. It was one of the very best cards in our deck, for sure. It did a lot of work, but you just you don't want to draw three of them, and that was kind of our problem. But there's, there's some good individual cards here, but improving on um, some of these, and, you know, uh, yeah, could, could use a little bit of work still. All right, but that's it here for Jarvan Elites. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And I'd love to hear the comments if you're playing Elites yourself. What region are you playing with Demacia? You know, what else are you doing? Well, how, how do you have, uh, how are you fitting in interaction and card advantage and that kind of stuff? Um, you know, I'd be interested in hearing about that. You know, maybe you have, maybe you're playing some of the much bigger effects with De that Demacia has access to. You know, like Bright Steel Formation probably would have looked great in our deck in some of those games. You can also have um, these elite cards that I don't love that much, but they're, you know, they're playable like For the Fallen. I haven't really been impressed with For the Fallen. Um, reinforcements I would maybe want a little bit more, but not not necessarily my favorites. But I could see like Tiana or Bright Steel Formation. Like maybe that's a little, like what this deck needs is just like these kind of top end card. You know, like maybe that's what I'm missing is I'm not, I'm missing like the super powerful stuff like a Tiana summoning get an additional attack or bright steel formation um i could see that all right but anyway let me know those of y'all on youtube what are you doing uh differently that are having some success with elites all right but that's all i got here for jarvin elites thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video